Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have in the arrangement shown two blocks of masses m and 2m are fixed on the ends of a spring of force constant 2k and k as you can see in the left diagram uh, are held at rest the other ends of the spring are fixed on fixed supports relaxed length of each spring is l distance between the supports is 2l size of the blocks is negligible and the floor is frictionless initially the blocks are held a distance l apart compressing the spring identically after the blocks are released they rush towards each other collide head on stick to each other find maximum speed of the blocks in the ensuing oscillations right so let us analyze the situation first initially these two springs are compressed in an identical way the natural length of both the springs are same that is l now from the initial condition we can say that both the springs are compressed by an amount of l by 2 right now if you see this structure and uh, considering that if this mass is allowed to oscillate freely then it would oscillate with an amplitude of l by 2 considering this line as the mean position with a time period of 2 pi root over m by 2 k similarly for 2 m it will oscillate with an amplitude of l by 2 with a time period of 2 pi root over 2m by k. Now writing time period of 2m mass in the form of tm it will give you double value. So you can say that this mass is moving with a smaller time period sorry uh, with a larger time period. So this mass is slower right. Now if I draw the phasor diagram of both the masses mm, the radius of that phasor diagram would be same because both the particles have same amplitudes right. Of course, their speeds, angular velocities would be different, angular frequencies would be different. So initially at t equals to 0, 2m mass lies at this point of the phasor diagram and m mass lies here, right. So just after releasing 2m mass goes in this manner in the phasor diagram and m mass moves in this manner, a time will come when both the masses will lie on the same vertical line, okay that is the time when they are colliding okay so i have taken for that the time taken by this mass to reach here is n times where n is a factor which is less than 1 n times the one fourth of the time period because this is one fourth of the time period of 2m and this one would be some factor of that time period one fourth of the time period okay so n is less than 1 here same thing happens for here the time taken by this mass to reach here is t by 4 plus 1 minus n if this is n this one will also be n so this factor will be 1 minus n times 1 fourth of the time period right but this is for this small m mass now just equating the those two values n times 2 t to m by 4 tm by 4 plus 1 minus n into tm by 4. So equating both time limits we get the value of n as 2 by 3 right 2 by 3 ok. So we from here we can calculate the actual time taken by the mass 2m to reach here and by the mass m to reach here. So we have already calculated that for 2m the time taken would be 1 sixth of its time period just put the value here. Similarly for m just put the value of n here you will get tm by 3 one third of the time period fine. Now the position of the mass m will vary according to this formula amplitude times sine omega m tm plus the phase constant as the m lies at this point of the phasor diagram so there is an additional phase constant of pi by 2 so I have written a pi by 2 here differentiating once with respect to time you will get the velocity please don't get bored here uh, I know I am not the best uh, teacher in the world but hey at least I am providing you some thing okay so differentiating this we get uh, the velocity now at the time of collision that is when I put the value of TMS uh, one third of the time period just put it here you will get the value of the velocity just before collision which is this one 
and the direction is towards left because you will get a negative sign right similarly for 2m the expression for the displacement with respect to time is this one why because there is a for 2m mass there will be an additional phase constant of pi plus pi by 2 that is 3 pi by 2 differentiating again you will get the velocity fine and when that 2m mass collides we have calculated already t 2 m by 6. So, just put the value of t 2 m by 6 you will get v 2 m as this one right. So, after calculating you will get v 2 m is equal to this. Now, just writing v 2 m in the form of v m you will get that v 2 m is half of the v value of v m and the direction will be towards right. So, just before collision the velocity of 2 m mass is v 2 m here and just before collision velocity of mass m will be v m towards left and just after collision let the value of velocity of the combined mass be v prime. Now, just conserve the momentum here right you will get v prime equals to 0. Okay. So, just after the collision net, uh, there will be no velocity of the combined mass right. So, just after the collision system velocity is 0 and if you check the location where it is colliding let us consider for m the position changes like this just put the value you will get the value of x m as minus l by 4 that means that means that means that means the collision will take place at a distance l by 4 from the mean position ok the, po the collision will take place here. So, you just you got the value here. So, just after collision stretching of the 2 k spring will be L by 4 and compression of the k spring will also be L by 4. Now, let us consider that the maximum speed of the system is V naught total energy just after collision would be half k L square by 16 ok due to the compression half 2 k L square by 16 due to the due to the extension of that 2 k spring this is the total energy just after collision it will be equal to the maximum kinetic energy of the system that is half times mass of the whole system times v max square or v naught square. So, now, now just do the simple calculation you will get the value of v naught as L by 4 root over k by m ok. Uh, this solution was a bit lengthier, but conceptually it was easy ok. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and I hope you uh, people were not bored ok. And if you like the video please do subscribe if you are new to this channel sorry it should be if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and if you like the video give a thumbs up and I will see in the next one peace.